So we've just created our um, article links B deeping. So the previous video, you can see that I made a copy of Arco deeping minimal, just copy paste, called it minimal, changed a few things, and then I've compared these two and I've created Arco deeping minimal. So that's done. That's you can see that in the other video. This thing is about hey, let's try it out. So you open your terminal and you say build me an ISO. Number 30 will do that. The others are just for maintenance for moving things like that. You check it out what it says in here. It's basically what it says move to documents, move to beta tester. So that's more a maintenance kind of thing for my um, team and beta testers. So we're going to build this uh, ISO, but this time it's not going to be based on the, the normal deeping. So this is the normal deeping. Maybe we can compare in this video as well while he's doing it. So we can check and see if we need to update anything. So what's the difference between deeping and deeping minimal? And you can make a third one, Arco deeping minimal, Eric, meaning you can make your own. That's the point of this article Linux B, build your own ISO, right? So you check it out and say, what's the difference? Okay, it says here, no minimal. It says minimal, minimal, minimal. Okay, that's the only difference. That's the super tool, this, this little melt thing here. And here are the preferences if you want to change them. Here it's called dipping and here it's called dipping min. So you know the difference between both ISOs. And this is, of course, what you need to go and look for. So to the left, a full-fledged deeping. To the right, a minimal one, meaning hashtag means Atom will not be installed. Chromium will not be installed. That beef is going to be installed. D menu is going to be installed. I guess we don't need deeping minimal. So I'm making adapt uh, changes, right? So D menu is... Mm, it's an interesting tool. I like it. I love it. I always use it even except the note box on our article Linux ISO. But for deeping minimal, nah, not okay. It's out. So we have Fe. Do we need Fe? Yeah, for variety. We needed it. So we can't do that. Genie is an editor. If you don't like the Genie editor, get rid of it. But we need to have some kind of editor, right? This is for images, that's okay. TM run, we could have a discussion over this. So I don't think there are any consequences of hashtagging it out, but I'm not sure, right? We would need to experiment with that, but I don't think so. So you can keep on working and keep on making this one more and more and more minimal. It's just one hashtag. Okay. So going over everything again, comparing, looking. These are for conkeys and this nice font. This one we need for the terminals. Same here for the desktop, I think. This is also for conkeys. A lot of conkeys are based on this guy. So we're looking at the difference between left and right. And let's see. Do we agree or can we even add more to it? Not sure if the deconf editor, for instance, is necessary in deeping, if it works at all with deconf. So things like that. You keep on thinking. XPack is one of our aliases. That's why it stays in. So it's really a Lego kind of thinking. Um, do we need it? Do you want the GNOME disk utility? <sighs> yeah. We decided to leave it on in the minimal one to get a visual representation of how your, your disk is. So, yes, it is. Um, it's nice to show people, hey, this is the way everything is partitioned. So that's that application um, and then point them to it when they have issues. G part of this is something more or less similar in the sense that that's also about hard disks and some information about your hardware. Time shift is out and all that. You 
YouTube downloads is one of our aliases. So yeah, if you don't mind, you don't want it, you put a hashtag in front of it. That's the point. We will never deliver an Arclinix B minimal that's suited to your needs. So here you have the package list. Just put a hashtag in front of it. Decide what you want to have. You can even decide to have i3 caps in there. If you want to combine Deeping and i3, hey, be my guest. It's just one hashtag away. Simple as that. The rest seems okay. Voila, done. How is he working? Ah, I had 190 packages. So normally I think we're at, well, this is a special kind of uh, uh, ISO builder. I mean, 1400, this is way too big because it's an uh, Arc Linux ISO builder PC. But basically it's around 1000, 100, 1200, I think, packages we have. So this is going to be around 890 plus, plus I think the other ones as well, 890. There's also another bunch of them up here, 139. I think that one needs to be added as well, around 1000 packages. All right, let's pause the video because we're waiting for everything to finish here. All right, everything finished uh, fine. So what it does, it creates an Arclinix B deeping, this time with the word minimal behind it. Well, we are at version 19, so 2019 in mid-January, we'll, re we'll release that ISO, but this name is already, of course, present now. So we have 1.8 gigabytes um, out. So it means that although a lot of software is out deeping is a big desktop it's a complete desktop it just is in here because of a few lines it's it's crazy but it's just big lego blocks right deeping and deeping extra is a full-fledged desktop and that's why you won't get to one gigabyte or anything like that because of the fact that that like plasma for instance is also a very um, complete desktop so basically, this video is done. Next one is testing out, hey, can we install this in VirtualBox? Is this what I want? And then you start tweaking. You start adding, changing things to your packages x86 here, 64. The only thing you should um, take care of is that you don't add anything from the AUR that's not in our repo. Whenever it's in our repo, you can add it, it's no problem. But if it's not on, your, um, on our repo, well, Solution one is make your own repo, which is not explained uh, until yet. And secondly, which is most easy, is, is the easiest solution, is you go and build your script. You say, yay, minus S, Spotify, yay, minus S, Dropbox, etc. And you just run a script, go eat, and everything will be installed when you come back. That's super, super easy. That's what we do with the Arconix Nemesis project, more or less as well. Okay. So um, next video, let's try this out.